Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Cuba. We're working on the Cuban Cigars Achievement. Look at that. We're halfway there. We are halfway to the Cuban Cigars Achievement. Make the first circumnavigation. Fuck it. Maybe we'll do that too. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. So if the next thing we need to do is be the world's leading producer of tobacco. And for that... Go to trade. There we go. Tobacco. Leading producer is Caribas. He has 29.8% of the world's production. We're currently at 2% of the world's production. But most of this region is going to be tobacco. Like, look at this. It's a 27% chance of tobacco. And a 26% chance of tobacco. 26, 27, 27. Lots of tobacco here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to move my capital to the new world. I think I do. It's going to really collapse our, our economy because the way we move our capital, at least the way I understand you do it, is it needs to be the last province in the last state in your home continents. So if we, let's say we make this back into a state. Oh, it is a state. Okay, let's say we move our capital there. It's controlled by an estate. Okay, let's say we move our capital to Sierra Leone then, whatever. Whatever. Let's say we move our capital somewhere over here. Turn all of these into territories. That will collapse our economy. It's just massive loss of, of income. However, we'll be able to move our capital here to the new world. At least I think that's how that works. I think. We just need to make them all into territories. Don't do it. It's gamey. No, it's not. It is not gamey to move your capital to the new world. Don't give me that shit. Wasn't Havana colonized? Yes, I have. I have Havana. See, I colonized it. It's even got my culture because I colonized it. Mm -mm. And we talked about perhaps attacking England, but I, I've decided against that because he has. Well, you see, the thing is, he's got seven heavies, 17 trade ships and 11 transports. I don't really want to fight seven heavy, 17 trades with 11 transports. Just as I don't want to fight that, I'm not going to. Easy peasy. Man, I'm glad we had this discussion. There's no need to do that. There's no need to go to war with England for this province. It's a useless province anyway. Useless. Useless. Totally historical? Huh? No, it's not historical. It's an achievement. How plausible is invading the rest of Cuba for tobacco provinces? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god, are you shitting me? The Netherlands spawned and they only got one province. Well, that's a dead Netherlands. Why would they spawn with only one province? Okay, now they got Flanders. Okay, now they're three. Just keep inheriting stuff. Go on, keep inheriting. And we finished exploring. Okay, next exploration is going to be North America. I want to see the coast. Show me the coast. American East Coast. There we go. Zar Vigo. There you go. He inherited Utrecht. Keep on inheriting. Just inherit all of it. Do it. Inherit all of it. Do it. Just do it, damn it. Come on, inherit all of it. Come on, do it. Do it. I want I want to see this giant blob suddenly go orange. Make it happen. Go on. Oh man, France is conquering. Oh, he got Friesland. Okay. He needs something better than Friesland. Like, he needs Brabant and Holland. What's this? We can set new rivals. We can set Songhai and Kilwa. Okay. Done. Songhai. Now there's another achievement for getting a hundred spy network points in three rivals. So I might as well try for that. Like, what else am I gonna do with my with my guys? Idea time? Ooh. Yes, please. 
Following the expansion, Settlers in Calusa. Where is Calusa? Is that here? Sure, I'll take that. Hello. He took Gel Ray. Okay, he's getting the small guys. He needs one of the big guys. He needs forts. Okay, he got you tracked. Okay, he got two forts. Good. Keep working on it. Now, this better not bankrupt me. Uh, no, it's not that bad. Sweet. Hello, better call Raul. And he got... Who did he just get? Oh, he sent a warning to Luxembourg. Oh, it's not what I expected you to do. I expected you to inherit Luxembourg. All right, let's just finish exploration. Might as well finish the ideas. Come on, inherit something cool. Our transports are done, so I guess I'm going to mothball them for now. I'm not going to go to war with England just yet. Inherited Holland. Good. I think he just needs Brabant and he'll be done inheriting all that shit. Yeah, Netherlands is getting very big. It looks good now. Then again, France is still invading. It's not like France has slowed down. Okay, send our spy network guy. Spy network guy. Man, you should inherit Brabant right about now, dude. It'd be good for you. Go on, inherit. Go on then. France is at 56 war score, not slowing down. Okay, we explored the coast. No, we explored the sea. Now we need to explore the coast. Show me the coast. Poor Netherlands. Poor Netherlands. He's getting carpet sieged. Oh. Lose inflation or gain inflation and lose stability. I think I'm going to gain the inflation here. I said that wrong. It was lose inflation and lose stability or gain inflation. Netherlands will cede Kales to France. Oh, that's not that bad. He lost one province. Oh, no. He was forced to release Cleves and Utrecht. Well, Utrecht, he'll just reintegrate. Cleves, I don't think he'll reintegrate. But he should inherit Brabant pretty soon here, I think. Go on, inherit Brabant. Oh, rebels in London. English separatist rebels. That's why France peaced out. Wow, why is he not inheriting Brabant? It's been a while here. Oh, shit. Wow. Uh, Hedges is dead. That was quick. Hedges is dead. Yeah. Goodbye, Hedges. Also, let's build some more buildings. Actually, no. If we're going to move our capital to the new world, then I'm not going to build more buildings. We'll wait. In fact, saving up money sounds like a good idea so that we'll be able to afford to keep colonizing. Yeah, Gurgle, we're going to try to not have Colonial Nation. We're going to move our capital to the New World, if we can. I think we can. We're going to try our best, damn it. Well, there's the coastline. It looks like no one's here. No one's home. So this is all tobacco, right? Tobacco 27, 26, 26. It's just all tobacco. This is so good. Tobacco, 
tobacco, tobacco. Yeah, I just need to move my capital here. That's all. 50% tobacco. God, there's just so much tobacco. There's so much tobacco. Oh, okay, so there's the cutoff right there. Doeg is when it starts going to fur. Still 28% tobacco, but mostly fur. Okay, so everything below Doeg is what we'll target. We'll target this. Sounds good. We're going to be the CSA, apparently. I thought we were doing uh, EU4, not Victoria, too. But apparently we're going to be the, the Confederate States of America. Who knew? Who knew? Can you make Havana into a state and then move your capital there? No. First, we have to isolate our capital. And to isolate our capital, we have to... Turn, see how this is light green? This is a territory. We have to turn all of this into territories. And then we have to move our capital to this province. And then we can move to the new world. It's going to be tough. France wants to buy some knowledge. Pacific South America. Sure, go for it. You want to colonize South America? You can do that, France. I don't care. We will be the KSA, the Cuban States of America. Nice. Could you colonize TN? Oh, Tennessee. Uh, yeah. You know what's interesting is the new areas thing. In other words, provinces that are going to be either territories or states include states like Florida, Georgia, Carolina. You know, stuff that you would see on a map. They even have Canada, Ontario, stuff like that. But they don't have Tennessee. They have Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, no Tennessee. They have Kentucky, though. You'll see, once we uncover all this stuff, you'll see how Tennessee was sort of pushed out. There's no Virginia either. You would think there would be, because Virginia was, you know, a huge deal back in the day. Virginia is pretty much the entire reason why we have a, a Senate and a House of Representatives. Okay, we've explored the coast. We know we're going to colonize. Let's explore this coast now. Let's see, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, Caribbean Sea. There we go. Okay, well, and then show me what you got. Hey, free stability. Thank you. So what kind of trade goods do we have over here? Is it still tobacco? Fur. Okay, so tobacco is just gone. Fur. 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 Okay. So this area is more for furs and cotton, whereas the coast over here is for tobacco. Okay, so we'll focus on this. What is this? Piss off the merchants or fight rebels. Or pay money. I'm going to pay money, actually. I want the merchants to have more influence. Because if they have more influence, I can get... New World Charter. There we go. Nice. Wow, the Netherlands still has not inherited Brabant. That's pretty impressive, actually. Huh. It's all good. Colony and AIS is almost done. Next mission, China. do you want to explore China? I mean, this is pretty much all we can do down here. Let's explore China, sure. Go have fun. God, he's already, he hasn't courted it yet. Bourgeoisie requests privileges, diplo points. Or admin points. I'll do the diplo points. Because the admin is... Oh, yes, we got more tobacco. More tobacco. So two in a row have tobacco. Yes, look at that shit. Tobacco. We are going to 
flood the tobacco market. It's going to be so good. How's the religions up here? That's something I haven't really looked at. Religions are... Eh, it's not bad. I'm trying to I'm trying to think about how strong this Protestant League is going to be. France and Poland are both in the Protestant League. Uh, and on the Catholic side, you have just Austria, really. Spain is not even in the, in the League system. Why is Spain not in the League War? What the hell? Shouldn't you be in the League War? Hey, Spain, shouldn't you be in the League War? It looks like the Ottomans are at war. What's this? Ottomans are at war with Venice and Spain. Oh, fun. New settlement. Base tax in Miami. I'll take the base tax in Miami because we're going to move our capital over there. We might as well have decent base tax. This land is not very profitable. Okay, first things first. Are there any farmlands or centers of trade? Looks like the answer is no. Farmlands and centers of trade lower development cost by 5% each. So it would make sense to have our capital somewhere that's a farmland or a center of trade. I know there's a center of trade in Massachusetts, but there's no tobacco up there. Oh my god, there is! There's tobacco in Massachusetts! 28% chance. Shit! I guess I should go there and see if we can put our capital there. Damn. Damn. Huh. Surprise me. Okay, AIS is done. Seminole is the town around there. What was our mission? Swellendom? Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to do that mission. I don't think I'm going to do Swellendom. So now we should probably just send our colonist over here and take a look at moving our capital to AIS. Okay, so this is going to be painful, like really fucking painful. We're going to lose a ton of money doing this. But the good news is we have 300 ducats in the bank, so it shouldn't be the end of the world difficult. First things first, we're going to get rid of the merchant guild over here. We're going to move our capital. Okay, our capital is now Gold Coast, which is the only province in this state. So it's an isolated capital in a state. Now we can't move it over here just yet. You can only move your capital to a province inside a state. So we need to make this a state. We can only have 10 states. So the first things first is we gotta get rid of some states. So which one is the shittiest state? I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're all good. They're all good. All these states are amazing. All right, let's turn off Luba. Oh, we have to get rid of all the estate lands. Right. So we're going to piss off all the estates temporarily here. Are we going to get rebels? We might get rebels. Shit, I hadn't even considered that. We might get rebels. Show me the estates. Oh, God. Okay, let's turn off something that doesn't have estates then. There you go. There's no estates here. Perfect. Okay, so this is now a territory, which means I can make this a state. Not a core. What? Calusa is not a core. A Roman... Do I have to finish Calusa before I can make it a state? That doesn't make any sense. It looks like I might have to finish Calusa before I make it a state. Why? You just have to wait till the end of the month. Let's find out. No. No, I still can't do it. All right, I'm confused. Hmm. This is gonna take some finagling. We gotta work. We gotta figure out how this works. It says I can't make it a state because Calusa is not a core, but Miami's not a core either. Like they're both colonizing. I don't know. This is so weird. So maybe we have to wait for them to finish. Alright, no problem. We'll wait for them to finish. I 
We're still making almost the same income. We lost a little bit because all of this land, now that it's a territory, it went to 75 autonomy. So that's kind of poopy, but eh, what do you expect? Yeah, we could do Havana, but I don't want my capital to be Havana because if we make our capital Havana, then won't we get colonial nations in the new world? Or is that not what's gonna happen? If we put our capital in Havana, will we get colonial nations in North America? Yes or no? Nope, no colonial nations. Okay, well then we'll do that. Havana, you are now a state. So we have to core it again. Go ahead. And now to move our capital here, it says we cannot move our capital to a colonial region, not while we still have a big heartland around it. Only when our capital is the only province in a state on that continent will this be possible. So what that means is we have to get rid of all of our states. These states, they gotta go. So we got to get rid of all these states. We got to get rid of all the estates and then all the states. Oof, the estates are going to be so upset. Oh, Karibus wants independence. Hell yeah, go for it. He's at 100% liberty desire. Nice. Go independent, dude. Don't worry. I won't conquer you. Or will I? Dun dun dun. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Oh no, can I can I undo a tech? I did not mean to tech that up. Now we're in unba unbalanced technology. Now we're gaining corruption every month. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I mean, it's it's only affecting my economy 1.39 ducats, but I did not need to do, I did not need to do that. I just didn't need to do it. I am a dummy. What missions are out there? Rival of rival. Create an army for our nation. We'll probably do that one. That's an easy one. Boy, am I a dummy. Well, welcome to Corruption Land. Population us, and it's all because of technologies. I guess I'll go ahead and take that Miltech 10 now. <laughs> Songhai has rivaled us. But yeah, when we turn off all these states, we're going to get a bunch of rebels because the estates will be upset. Uh, actually, we might be able to buy some loyalty just by giving them some little bonuses like this. It's possible. Since we're considering that, I might as well go ahead and take our points now because we'll piss them off later. Okay, we'll take our points now, and then uh, they'll just get really upset later on. That's fine. Non-enforcement of ordinances. Gain autonomy and rund. That's fine. I don't care. How much is that tech going to cost me? Not too much. 514? Not bad. Not bad. And I think instead of taking the next idea, I have to tech up. Just because I fucked up the tech. So I got to take tech 8 here. Instead of another idea. All right, what's next on the exploration list here? South Indian Ocean, go for it. AQJ, you can just put your trade capital somewhere else. It doesn't matter.
I'm glad we're getting a bankroll going. We'll need it. Ottomans just took Negroponte from Venice. What else is going on up here? Not a whole lot. Oh, Bosnia has a union over Serbia. Interesting. Did we get caught? We got caught, didn't we? Damn it, we got caught. So we didn't get to 100 spy points. Well, shit. I'll have to try again later. For now, then, how about we get relations back up with Francie Pants? Man, we were pretty close to that achievement, too. For 100 spy points and three rivals. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh-oh, what's this? What's up, Poland? Poland went to war with... Holstein? And Pomerania? Oh, God. And Poland has no claims on Pomerania. What the fuck is this war? Oh, he's allied to Sweden. Sweden declared war on Holstein. That's what it is. Ah, gotcha. Sweden's a bully. Okay, we have 200 Monarch points, which is all we need. So I think, uh, fund the army. And we're gonna have to kill some rebels here. I have no general. Um, you know, I have no baby. I'm just gonna make my king a general. Oh my god, he's terrible. Holy shit, that's bad. Wow, that's bad. Eighty-seven influence. That'd be kind of a problem. Personal ability lasts until sixty-five. So he has six more years of high influence. But I can take that away just by removing provinces, which is what I'm doing. So give me a general. What do we get? Okay, that's better. We don't need the siege pips right now, but that's better. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to find all the estates provinces. We're going to rev revoke all of them. Start off right here. And they will ha they will revolt. So we need to get our our uh, morale up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nob nobility is going to have a disaster. Not if we take away their land, they're not. Alright. It's pretty good morale. Let's wait one more month. There we go. Oh, they didn't rebel. Neat. I thought they would. No, they didn't. Alright, so that means we can turn off that state. Goodbye, state. Hello, autonomy. All right, next up is Mabuila. Hello, rebels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where else do we have? Oh, that's it. Okay. Turn off Congo. Done. Hello, autonomy. Whew, we got a long way to go, but that's going to have to be the next episode. Once we're done turning off all these states, we can move our capital to the new world, and then we can turn the states back on over there. Yeah. Okay, so that'll be next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Have a good day.